Chicago Mint. How refreshing. Thanks. So, have you come to release me? Who are you? My name is Ores. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely! Can't you see? I'm innocent! But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed! I didn't touch the stupid flowers! What flowers? The Jello Konish in Dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slop, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice, if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cook at the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips, but once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I ever seen with a prehensile tail. So who'd want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's Cole's piracy. Can I get you anything? Yes? You can get me out of here! Actually, something to get rid of these rats would be nice. I'll trade you this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made. I hate carrot cake. Sheriff Shine Top sure is a jerk, isn't he? No kidding. Fester Shine Top is the meanest man on Melee Island. Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for a sheriff, but he recently died under mysterious circumstances. If you ask me, I think the new sheriff had something to do with it. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops! I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant too seriously. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. Oh my gosh, look at the time. I'd love to stay in chat, but, uh... I see. You have the time to consort with criminals, but not with those interested in upholding the law. Look, I don't know what you're up to, but whatever it is, it's probably illegal. So forget it! Wherever you go on Melee, I'll be watching. And if you try any monkey business, you'll end up in here for good. Man, is he a pill or what? You see what I have to put up with? You better go before you get his body in trouble. Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? I'd like some rat repellent, please. Ha! I bet you would. But I haven't got any. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything!
I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. Move out of the way, or I cuts my way through. Sorry to bother you. I'll uh, be on my way. There sure are a lot of spelling errors. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like... dancing lessons. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. This shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. 
<laughs> You're no pirate. While the town drunk could out insult you on his back. And probably would. Stick it in your ear, you great green garrulous grub. Um... Uh, uh, which ear, cuddle breath? Uh, yeah. None shall pass. You can't pass until you pay the toll. Look behind you, a mouse. I'm not falling for that. Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. None shall pass. You can't pass until you pay the toll. Oh, please, can't I pass? Oh. Boy, do you sound like a wimp. I don't like wimps. You can't pass until you pay the toll. How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? Some semi-rancid meat? I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. Construction paper jockey shorts? Don't be silly. You have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. None shall pass. You can't pass until you pay the toll. How much did you say the toll was? I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. None shall pass. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Um, could you please put out that cigar? It's not good for your health, and it smells terrible. Sure, I'd love to put it out. In your face. Uh... Maybe I'll just leave instead. Good idea. What do you want? Can we step inside? It's a little chilly out here. What did you say? I said it's a little chilly out here. Huh. You're right. I could catch a cold. What do you want? Do you know where the Swordmaster lives? Forget it, kid. She cut your head clean off. Unless, of course, you got some training first. Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. 
I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. Did you see my sign? I usually charge 30 pieces of eight for a big job like this one. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Distance, distance! Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repulse. Use your forte against the foible. Watch your footwork. Distance, distance! Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kinda like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... So's your mother. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like, How appropriate! You fight like a cow! You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? I am rubber, you are glue. I can see we're in deep trouble here. Ah. Oh. A correct response to, Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab, would have been something like, First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar.